Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to migrate your data from one Apple TV to the other. So today I'm actually upgrading from 32 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes. I'll show you how to share and sync the home screen so that one home screen will reflect from the other. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider pressing the subscribe button. It only takes a moment and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the main thing here is to get your original Apple TV 4K. We're going to go to the settings menu here. We're going to go to users and accounts. We're going to go to my default user. And then we're going to turn on one home screen. So the one home screen means that apps and home screens are kept up to date across every Apple TV using this iCloud account. And in theory, what this means is that if we set up a new Apple TV and turn on one home screen, then all of the customizations, apps, folders, etc., will sync from the source Apple TV to the new Apple TV. So one caveat here is that local data and login IDs are not synced. You have to enter those manually. It means that these home screens can be synchronized together very easily. So once that setting is turned on, I'm going to set up my 64 Apple TV and show you how to synchronize those two home screens. So in my new Apple TV, I've already set this up as a new user. So here we have to do the same thing. We're going to settings menu, and then we're going to go to users and account. We're going to go to my default user. Then we're going to turn on one home screen and make sure that's turned on. Then we press back and then back. And as you can see, all of these home screen has started to synchronize. So some of the applications that I had in folders, they're all pulling down now. So this means that I don't have to go through the trouble of finding all of my applications again. It's all come together in this home screen. So I noticed already that because I already downloaded Netflix and Disney Plus and put them in the folder at the front here, then this has not touched the location of this. Normally those two apps are here on my other device. However, I'm sure if I move them, then it'll synchronize back. If I go into my BBC iPlayer, for example, I had a login already. However, it's gonna ask me to sign in and set up BBC iPlayer all over again. But that's fine, I'm happy with that. So this is how you turn on one home screen and then transfer data from your old Apple TV 4K to your new Apple TV 4K. I've got lots of other Apple TV and other Apple gaming and Mac tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.